Hey everyone, it's Tina. Today I want to talk about drugs, but not the fun kind. Um, I want to talk about the medications that are commonly used in treating autoimmune diseases. And today I'm going to talk about steroids because they are the most, one of the most common medications used to treat autoimmune diseases and they are used in pretty much every autoimmune disease. I have yet to hear of an autoimmune disease where steroids are not used. If you know something that I don't, please let me know. But so, so what are steroids? The types of steroids that we get as patients um, are called corticosteroids. There are several different steroids. Steroids are basically just hormones. Our bodies produce them naturally and um, they affect almost everything that um, happens to our body. Um, so steroids are really necessary in our body for correct regulation of, like I said, pretty much everything. Um, the common steroids that are corticosteroids that are used for autoimmune diseases are prednisone, uh, medrol, solumedrol, there's a whole bunch of others I'm sure, um, but prednisone is usually the one that people are given for long-term steroid use. Uh, medrol is usually given for short-term use, uh, usually for an acute inflammatory issue. Uh, solumedrol is often given as an IV uh, medication, uh, oftentimes given before other medications or um, in an emergency situation or again for an acute um, inflammatory or other type of issue. So what do steroids do? Why, are, why do we take them? The um, pri pretty much the primary use for autoimmune diseases is um, we use them because they reduce inflammation and they reduce inflammation in the joints, they reduce inflammation in the cardiovascular system, they reduce inflammation in the tissues, they reduce inflammation in the joints, in the linings around our organ systems, pretty much everywhere. And since inflammation is one of the biggest issues with autoimmune diseases, you can kind of see how that works. Um, they also reduce pain um, especially um, if they're given in an injection in a, a particular area. So if you have a bad joint, like I have bad knees and bad hips and I have a lot of inflammation from the rheumatoid arthritis and also from other issues, um, steroids can be directly injected into an area that is having an issue to give um, relief to that area to kind of do a spot reduction of inflammation um, and again these they do that a lot in joints they do it for um, like if you have herniated discs in your neck or your back they will um, directly inject the uh, corticosteroid right into that area to reduce the inflammation as in, in that spot one of the other things that uh, corticosteroids do is they actually suppress the immune system, which again is exactly what we want to happen when we're using them to treat autoimmune diseases. It and in um, in, re in suppressing the immune system, it can it can save organs, it can save joints. Um, and for some people it can save their lives. Uh, steroids can put people into uh, complete remission or if they're having, starting a flare up and steroids are given right away, it can cut the, um, that f kind of stop the flare up where it started or it can reduce the length and um, the severity of the flare up. So there's a lot of great things that uh, these steroids can do for us which is why we use them a lot. However, anybody who's taken steroids before or who knows somebody who has taken steroids knows that steroids have a lot of side effects, not fun side effects at all. Uh, the most common side effects are um, weight gain, water retention, uh, hypoglycemia, and conversely hyperglycemia, um, acne, severe acne, insomnia, uh, mood swings, an increase in uh, body hair, and a reduction in bone density. 
So that's a that's a whole lot of bad stuff. And steroids, um, if they're used long term in high doses, or if somebody's particularly sensitive to them, can also cause something called Cushing's syndrome, which is a syndrome of hypercortisolism, where the um, the body creates too much cortisol, and it kind of it's kind of a more drastic um, effect of or causes more drastic versions of those side effects. So I had Cushing syndrome when I took uh, the steroids. So not only did I gain weight, I gained 80 pounds. Um, not only did I have water retention and a moon face, but it was, um, you know, particularly moony. And I also got something that is very, um, that happens in, uh, it called a buffalo hump where it got a, the fat pad on top of the vertebrae um, on by like between your shoulders um, it swells up a lot so you kind of look like a hunchback um, and the other thing that happens with uh, Cushing syndrome that doesn't usually happen with just steroids is what they call abdominal striae also known as stretch marks but it's not like stretch marks that you'd get from pregnancy or weight gain I've had stretch marks from you know regular weight gain before um, it's there they happen very rapidly because steroids also can reduce um, you know the thickness of your skin so it'll make your skin thin and tear very easily so as you're gaining weight and as um, you're retaining this water uh, your skin stretches to the point where it tears and these and you get these horrible bright purple um, marks um, and I have some that are literally this this wide um, so like an inch or two up to two inches wide um, where my skin was tearing um, and eventually they um, like all stretch marks the, the bright purple will fade but your skin will be permanently damaged it will never um, you know, go back to normal. Uh, you'll always have an air those areas of uh, thinned um, skin. So that's not very attractive. I'm really, you know, again another one of those things that kind of goes toward the self-esteem stuff I was talking about in my last video. Um, basically, when I was on steroids, I also oh did I mention uh, thermal regulation? Uh, <laughs> makes you feel hot all, pretty much all the time. So when I was taking steroids, I was basically a fat, sweaty, pimply, hungry, angry land whale. That's pretty much what it felt like. Um, everything made me cry. Little things that normally wouldn't bother me would put me into an extreme anger. Um, I wasn't sleeping, I had acne all over my body, and I'm it not even like, I had, you know, regular high school teenage acne, and it's nothing like that, it's hu like huge cystic acne all over your body, everywhere, especially on my face, on the back of my neck, and um, you know, down my back, but pretty much everywhere on my body, and there's really nothing that you can do about it, spot treatments don't help, none of the regular things seem to help. When you're taking steroids long, especially if you're taking them long term, I would always recommend that you talk to the people in your life that you're close to. If anybody you live with, your family, your friends, your spouse, partner, whoever, um, and just kind of give them a heads up that, hey, I'm going to be taking this medication. I need it um, to get, you know, to help get my disease under control, to help me feel better in the long run but there's some side effects that I might have and I need you to know that I may have some mood swings and you know and I'm you know I'll do I'm doing the best I can but I may not always be able to control my emotions the way that I should um and I've I've found that kind of giving some forewarning to people helps them to uh to feel a little better about what's going on when you're getting um, you know, angry for no reason, or when in the middle of winter you're saying, please God, turn on the air conditioner, I'm so hot, I'm so sweaty, um, you know, so that's always helpful. The one thing that I want to stress, because I have found 
over and over again in my life that um, doctors and pharmacists don't stress this and it's a very big problem. Uh, steroids, unless um, you're given them as a one-time dose as an IV or you're given a one-time dose by the doctor or you're given a Medrol pack where um, you take six the first day, five the second day, four, three, two, one, and then none, where it effectively um, weans you off by uh, design. Every steroid that you take you for any length of time, your body becomes um, accustomed to it. And to suddenly stop taking it can lead to adrenal crisis, kidney failure, and death. And by can, I mean will. Um, so if you're taking steroids and the side effects are driving you crazy, under no circumstances can you just abruptly stop taking them. You must call your doctor and talk to them about how to safely wean off of steroids. Again, this isn't that it can cause some discomfort, it can cause some issues. It can and will cause death. And I actually was very sad to... Um, have somebody who I knew in a lupus support group who felt that the steroids were causing a lot of her problems and um, she stopped taking them and she went into kidney failure and died three days later. So this is not, um, you know, kind of a, <laughs> this isn't, this isn't an exaggeration. Um, this, this is real life. So please be careful with steroids. Always make sure that you're in touch with your doctor. Always make sure that you're in touch with family and friends, sorry, Sophie, um, and people who you can talk to um, if you are having emotional problems, if you find yourself having um, any symptoms of depression um, with them, because that can happen. Um, and to also just have people to look out for you to say, hey, you know, we still love you. We're still here for you. Um, and to make sure you have people that you can talk to about all these things. So, if, as usual, um, I appreciate any and all feedback. If there, you have any questions that I didn't answer, please let me know um, and I will find an answer for you. If I don't know it, I will find somebody who does. And um, I welcome all feedback and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.